for me, the way I record music um, is, I think I try to go for a true sound. I basically just, it's like journaling for me. Like I basically like record how I'm feeling every day. And I'm not necessarily trying to make my music good or make it impressive or make it, um, I don't try to do anything that would be any particular way other than just what happened that day, how I feel. Um, you know, when I practice, when I'm in practice mode, yeah, I'm trying to improve and sound better and Im improve my technique and my harmony and all these different things. But when I'm in recording mode, writing mode, performing mode, um, it's not about trying to sound good. It's just trying to play what's on my mind. And I think that is, um, as you put it, I think that's going for a true sound. You know, that sounds good to me. Yeah, working with Wonk, it was, it was really easy. Um, their pianist, Take, he did a very good job of uh, writing something that would be really uh, conducive to my style. He wrote some chord changes that were really similar to the types of chord changes that I like to play. And when I heard it, you know, I could tell that that they were, you know, playing to my strengths and I really appreciated that. Um, and so recording over it was quite easy. It took like one afternoon and it was smooth. And yeah, they're all really talented and cool. And yeah, it's, I'm honored to play with them. I was uh, instructed by my teacher, Abraham Laboriel, who's a really great bassist. Um, and he told me that um, one of the best things you can do when you record music is to evoke a feeling of warmth uh, and encouragement. Uh, that's, that's what I'm going for. I'm trying to, uh, yeah, I'm trying to create a universe that's warm and inviting for everyone. And um, yeah, I just want to invite everyone into what I'm doing emotionally. Um, I'm not out here to show off or impress anybody. Um, I'm just trying to play stuff that's warm and uh, inviting and fun and, and hopefully pretty.